It's time to head to Confidential Corner. And ding, this is ding, called... Ding, 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 The Boss's Wife. I need one male and one female name. Please, Uncle Si, male. Uncle Dave, female. Chris. Chris. Linda. This comes from Chris. <laughs> Why are we laughing at Linda? That's so nice. Isn't it? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking of Chris and Linda doing it. Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> Might be with the boss's wife, though. We need to wait and hear so. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, this comes from Chris. Dear Uncle Dave, Uncle Si, and Posh Tash, I am in a rather uncomfortable position. I'd appreciate some help. In August, I started working for a building company. I'm a production engineer. I work on several building projects. I work closely with the company owner. He's a very successful self-made man, a workaholic, in fact who's always spinning a lot of plates, and my job is to help make sure he doesn't drop any. This means I spend a lot of time at his home, a massive house in the country that he shares with his wife, who's quite a bit younger than his. She's always popping into the study I work in with tea and snacks. She's very nice. But one day last week, while her husband was on site, she brought me in a cup of tea, then sort of lingered around for a few seconds. Then she came over to me, sat on my lap, and snogged my face off. She then got up and apologised, saying she'd always wanted to do that, winked at me, and walked away. Nothing's wow. been said about it since. Should I tell the boss? Asks Chris. Over to you. Oh, what a dilemma. No, you shouldn't say now and just hope it all goes away and think it was a horrible dream. <laughs> Either that or she's going to have to find a new job. And yeah. it's really bad because she's compromised in no end, hasn't she? Yeah. Well, yeah, she's, that was quite a selfish move, really. Because she knows I... she's in a position of power. I think I'd get up and leave, and then he'll say, why are you leaving? And he goes, oh, I feel uncomfortable around your wife. And then maybe it flushes out that way, and then it flushes her out. But if he stays and admits it, you know, she's got, who's he going to believe, her or him? Well, he's or... going to believe her, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. I, that's all really oh, horrible. That's awful. Yeah. That's oh, an awful, awful thing to do. I think you've got that's to give it a chance thing. that it just blows over. And, yeah. you know, I have a quiet word with his boss's wife. I go, look, it's, I found it really uncomfortable. Um, so... Let's just forget it ever happened. That's it. Never should be seen, mentioned again. And that way he's going to try and take control of the situation. But I worry. She sounds like she clearly likes him, doesn't she? And she clearly wants a bit more. And I, she's clearly going to be looking for something back. She's not going to make sitting in that, in her house, that easy. It's not like they're in an office space. He's going to go to work every day, dreading that door opening with a cup of tea coming in. Maybe. And who wants well, to live like that? I mean, yeah. when a door opens and tea comes through, you want to enjoy it, not be frightened that you're going to have your face snogged off yeah, yeah. by the yeah. boss's wife. Ooh, that's terrible. Yeah, you want a hobnob. Well, yeah. Not a knob hob, don't you? Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> Sorry. Hob, not the knob. <laughs> Let's just stick with a hob, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh no, that's terrible. Yeah, I think you only have two options, really. Go on, tell him that you need an office space because... Yeah, that's a good call. Or, and just, and, and like Dave says, you just got to hope that it blows over. And but what she's... Chris doesn't mention is how severe was his response. Now, when this happens, he sits on the knee. You see, I think me being me, I, I, I would just bolt. Whoa, what's going on? But then, obviously, Chris let it get so far that she was snogging his face off. Dave, that's good detail. You're right, actually. So he, he can't he have been that distracted. Hmm. Maybe it's after the event when Chris is there with his hobnob, he's thinking, oh, dog, this shouldn't happen. But it's too late then, isn't it? Hmm. One has to be quite reactive quickly. But but you, you see, the thing is that that's all down to personality type, though, isn't it? Because the thing is that she's in a huge position of power and influence and she, she's compromised him. So she's gone there. He's just sat there and opened his mouth, I suppose. I don't know. And then, and then, I don't know. I just think it's... What's going through his mind? Is he going through his mind and goes, oh, I better be nice to her, the boss's wife? Oh, you know, well, what would the boss say if I didn't? I mean, really? He's sitting going, shit, this is my job. This is the boss's wife. I need to back off. I wonder whether Chris, though, has made some signs before that to give her the confidence to do that. Yeah, there's two sides to every sandwich, isn't there? There is, yeah. And there's definitely a filling in the middle, which, is, which yeah. is part of the problem. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh. Oh, dear. Uh, I, oh, I, he can't win, I think. He loses his job. Mm. I've got to put a lock on the door. 
practical, <laughs> practical, and just and then open it by about just enough to get the tea through and a hobnob, <laughs> a hatch. and then a hatch. Yeah, you just put it. He's a builder. He'll not mind. It's not his house, is it? Chris no, is well, Chris is seen as the victim, uh, but it's not his house. Um, or maybe he should never go there to work again. Yeah, I'm going to put yeah. okay, honest answer. He needs to go to the boss and go, I've worked in your house long enough. I, I, I want to do the job. It'd be much more practical if we could have an office space. I think office space is the right call, a suggestion. Yeah. And if the boss then starts challenging or he doesn't want to do that, he cho chooses to leave and the boss challenges, he needs to go, I'm uncomfortable around your wife. I think she's making advances I don't really want and I don't want to be put in this predicament. I think I'll leave. You know, and if they fall out, they fall out. It's a shame that he's in this posi position, but that's the most sensible, isn't it? I think that's hiding is wrong. It's the most adult, but like I think I think Dave's mm. right in the sense that you should give it a, give a chance to blow over, and if it happens again, then he's got to go. Listen, this is really uncomfortable. Mm. It's not right. I, I I feel incredibly compromised. You're in a position of power. I'm looking after me job. I've got a wife or kids or whatever, um, a mortgage, whatever, and and this is just not right. I can't I can't do this morally. I can't do it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Give it a chance to blow. Have a word with her. Be really strong about it. Say it once and mean it. And then, if anything happens, then I, you've just you know you've you've got to just stick to the truth and go right. This is the way it is. It's over to you now. Mm -hmm.